Hey everyone, here is our math problem for today. This is a continuation of our lesson on the product log function or the number w function. Let's say we are given this equation 2 raised to x plus x equals 5. What is the value of x if x is an element of the set of real numbers? Unlike our previous lesson where the value of x was an integer, in this example, x is not an integer and therefore it is not easy to just guess the value of x in this case. But using this Lambert w function, we'll be able to find the value of the variable x exactly. If we can determine the value of x in the Lambert w form, and we have access to a calculator that is able to compute the Lambert w of a given input. So you can pause the video and see if you can solve this algebra challenge. Now let's solve this problem together. Let's begin by first visualizing our equation. If you have access to graphing calculator like the Desmos graphing calculator, solving equations graphically sometimes is the easier method. Here we graph y equals 2 to the x plus x and that is this red curve and then we graph y equals 5 which is this green line. And the point of intersection between this red curve and this green line is the coordinate x is 1.716 and y is equal to 5. But if we want to solve this algebraically, how can we find this value x equals 1.716 as the solution to this equation? That is what I'm going to teach you in this lesson. Our goal is to be able to write the given equation in the form something times the natural number e raised to that something, and if we take the Lambert w of that expression, the result is that something. We want therefore to be able to transform this into a times e raised to a. And so how are we going to do this one? Let's begin by isolating first this exponential expression. So the left side is exponential, the right side is linear. Then let's divide both sides of this equation by 2 raised to x, the left side becomes 1, and the right side is just copied. Then, let's interchange the left and the right side of the equation applying the symmetric property of equality. We have here a quotient, but we can write this as product by noting that 1 over 2 raised to x is just the same as 2 raised to the negative exponent x. Therefore, the left side of the equation becomes a product the quantity 5 minus x times 2 raised to negative x, the right side is just copied. We are always aware that our goal is to rewrite this left side of the equation into the form a times e raised to a. We now have this factor 5 minus x, but the exponent here is negative x only, and the base is 2. We want the base e, we want the exponent, and this factor to be the same. Let's take care first of having the same exponent and this base 5 minus x. We need to have 5 also in this exponent, but how can we introduce 5 here? Remember that if you are going to multiply exponential number with the same base, 2 raised to negative x times 2 raised to 5, we are going to copy the common base and we are going to add the exponents. And so if we simplify these two factors, we'll have the form 2 raised to negative x plus 5. So we multiply both sides of the equation by this 2 raised to the fifth, so that when we multiply these last two factors, we copy the common base and we add negative x plus 5. We just copy the right side. And by commutative property of addition, this exponent can also be rewritten as 5 minus x. And so we now have this exponent 5 minus x and this factor 5 minus x representing our a. But the base is 2. We want the base to be e. Well, there are two ways that we can do here. One is we can rewrite 2 in terms of the natural number e, or we can rewrite the entire factor 2 raised to 5 minus x into a form containing e. And we can achieve that if we recall that e raised to ln of x is just equal to the input x. e and ln are inverse operations that can cancel each other effect, and so the result is just whatever is the input. So that if we input the entire 2 raised to 5 minus x to e raised to ln of that input, the result is just whatever is that input. This means that this factor here can now be replaced by this form now containing the natural number e, 
which is what we want in this Lambert W formula. So we now replace the second factor here by this result E raised to ln of the quantity 2 minus 5x because this part here and this part here are just the same. Now our problem is we now have the natural number E but this factor here and this exponent are no longer the same. So that means our next goal now is to come up with the same exponent and the same factor here. So that means our next task now here is to make sure that this exponent of E and this factor before E must be the same. So let's do the simplification first of this exponent ln of the quantity 2 raised to negative 5 minus x. And so let's recall some properties of logarithm. The logarithm of a raised to m is just the same as that exponent m times the logarithm of the base a here. ln is the logarithm to the base e. So this means that this exponent here can now be simplified this way. This 5 minus x is our m and we can now write that before ln. So m is now 5 minus x, we copy ln and this base 2 is now this 2. So we are now going to replace this exponent by this right side of this equation and here is now the result. Let's investigate if we now have the same exponent and factor. The exponent here is 5 minus x times ln of 2. The factor before e is only 5 minus x. So there's an extra ln 2 in the exponent. So we need to be able to introduce that ln of 2 again in our equation. So let's multiply both sides of the equation by ln of 2. And so this is now the factor that we multiply both sides of the equation. All the rest are just copied. Then by the commutative property, we can now rearrange the order of the factors here. We can insert this ln of 2 in this part so that this exponent and this factor here are the same. And here is now what we have. So this ln of 2 is now written here. This part is just copied. This part is copied. And this entire exponent is also copied. So this ln of 2 is now written here. The right side is just copied. Then let's check if we now have the desired form a times e raised to a. So this part here is our a. This part here, which is exactly the same as our a, is also a here. So we now have the form a times e raised to a, which is now what we want. And because of that, we can now take the Lambert W of both sides of this equation. So we take the product log of the left side, we take the product log of the right side. The left side is easier to simplify following this formula. This is just equal to the exponent, the quantity 5 minus x times ln of 2. The right side is just copied. Our goal is to solve for x, so we want to isolate x. We do not want this ln of 2, so we divide both sides of the equation by ln of 2. And we can now cancel ln of 2 divided by ln of 2 that is equal to 1. So the left side is 5 minus x. We just copy the right side. We are solving for x here, so we add x to both sides of the equation and we subtract this expression from both sides of the equation to arrive at this. So this 5 is here. This minus x becomes plus x at the right side. This expression becomes the negative of that but already at the left side. Then again, by symmetric property of equality, we can interchange the order of the left and the right side of the equation. And we have just solved the value of x. x is equal to 5 minus the Lambert W of 32 ln2 over ln2. Now, this answer is already acceptable. But if you want to find the exact decimal value of this, then we can get a calculator. And using now the Wolfram Alpha online graphing calculator, we can evaluate this product log function. X is approximately equal to 1.71562. So this value here, which is what we have just computed, is approximately equal to X is 1.71562, which is what we have here. So thank you very much, and we hope to see you again in our next video. Bye for now.